836 right now giving you facts has always been our goal during the COVID-19 pandemic. And that's why we've been collecting your texted questions. Our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, joins us once again to answer some of them. Dr. Coley, good morning. The first question that a viewer asks, if you get an infection, and are there breathing exercises that you can do at home? So Gary, the breathing exercises have become very popular in social media because Chris Cuomo, who is the CNN anchor that has the COVID-19 infection, has been doing them. There is no scientific evidence that these breathing exercises will help with outcomes with the COVID infection. Having said that, however, they're probably not going to be harmful and there may be some theoretical benefits. So the first benefit, because this is a lung infection, is that breathing exercises actually help you to use your entire lung when you're breathing rather than breathing in a shallow fashion, which we can do when we have respiratory infections. The second is it can help you mobilize or, or kind of cough up your secretions to get rid of excess mucus or phlegm. And then the third is that it actually helps with anxiety. So it doesn't hurt to do them if you have the COVID infection, but there's no hard scientific evidence that they actually help. Okay, that's all good to know. Speaking of mucus, and I can't believe I just said that, our second question, a viewer wants to know if you get COVID-19, could taking Mucinex help thin the mucus? My husband and I are taking 80 milligrams a day, just in case. So let's talk about mucus. The purpose of mucus in our lungs is to actually help with the immune function of the lungs. So th think of the mucus like a filter. It almost traps dust and particles, viruses and bacteria that gets in and helps to prevent them from getting into your lung cells. So if you're not sick with anything, taking something like mu mucinex could actually potentially be harmful because you're actually compromising the integrity of the mucus by thinning it out. So by changing the mucus, you're actually potentially impairing your lungs immune function. So I would not recommend that. If you do get sick with COVID, one of the things that happens is you get excess mucus production, which can lead to plugging of the airways and problems with oxygen and things like that. Um, but mucinex has just not been studied in COVID. It's possible that it might help, but if you're thinking about taking it and you have COVID, then you need to talk to your doctor. But don't take it preventively because it's more likely to cause harm than it is to help. All right, that's also good to know. A third question now for you is, how long does it take your lungs to recover after a COVID infection is gone? So we're learning more and more about this as well, but the answer is that it really depends on the severity of the infection. If you had a mild infection or no symptoms at all, the recovery is pretty much instantaneous. Your lung function goes back to normal right away. But if you have a moderate to severe infection, small studies from China, and I'm talking 12 patients, so really small, are showing us that up to one fourth of people can have a decrease in their lung capacity of 20 to 30%. And this decrease has been seen two to three months after the infection. Now, we don't know if this is permanent, if it's gonna last forever or the lungs will bounce back, but there is some evidence on CT scans that some of this could be due to scarring, suggesting that it may be more permanent. So really the severity of the infection and the immune response determines what long-term effects you're gonna have and how long it takes your lungs to heal. Still lots to learn, that's for sure. Dr. Coley, as always, we appreciate you being with us. Thank you and have a good day.